My name is Matthew from Denity, and I'm so excited to be talking to you all today. Denity is the leading consumer identity verification and trust platform in the country. We're based in Santa Monica, California, and we've been around for a little over three years now. Denity is an AARP Innovation Labs portfolio company, and AARP is also one of our largest investors. The reason AARP invested in Denity is they saw the similar problem that we all face today. Scams are on the rise. Specifically on Facebook Marketplace, there was over $9 billion in losses last year. We knew it was time to take action and provide consumers with a solution to protect themselves. We're so excited about our partnership with the Facebook Marketplace for Sellers Only group, and we're excited to show you around the Denity platform. In this video, I'll be showing you a demonstration of onboarding to the platform and teaching you how Denity can help you build trust and stand out in your Facebook Marketplace journey. The first step is to create your Denity account. Creating your Denity account is 100% free and takes less than five minutes. We'll capture basic information and then prompt you to verify your identity using a government issued document. It's very important to note that images of your document and selfie as we'll show in a second are not saved or stored by us and are not able to be accessed by anyone on the platform. The images are solely used to verify your information. And the reason we verify information is to ensure that everyone on the platform is real and trustworthy. Let's get started. Start by entering your phone number and proving you are not a robot. You'll then receive a one-time passcode to your mobile device, and then we'll get started capturing some information. First name, last name, date of birth, and email address. We'll then enter the verification process. You'll see here five options of government issued documents that you can use to verify your identity. We use some of the largest technology partners to help us verify this information. And I want to make the point again that all of these images are immediately deleted upon completion of the verification and they are not stored or shared with anyone. I'll go ahead and choose driver's license. We'll capture the front and the back. Once you capture the document, this process will take around 20 seconds. What we're doing is validating that the document is actually government issued and real. Fake IDs have proven to not pass through this verification system. So when you're transacting information with another individual that has gone through this process, you can ensure that their information is valid and accurate. Once this document verification is complete, it will take us to the selfie step. The selfie step, as you'll notice, is a 3D liveness video, which is impossible to be spoofed by AI or 2D images. So what we're doing now is we're proving liveness, proving that the individual that is claiming that information is actually who they say they are. Once that's done, I'll be successfully verified and those images and videos are immediately destroyed and not stored anywhere. Again, the reason that everyone on identity has to go through a verification is so we can ensure that everyone on the platform is real and trustworthy. Now that I've verified my information, let's go ahead and set up my verified profile. The verified profile is a web page that can be made public or private, used to showcase verified information about myself. In tests that we've done, we've seen that individuals who showcase their verified profile link in their Facebook Marketplace listing receive four times less spam messages than if you did not have the link in there, really allowing you to stand out and show that you are a verified seller and a serious seller. Let's go ahead and get started. First, I'll upload a photo. And then I'll be able to customize my link. app.denity.com backslash Matthew 18. I'll then be able to configure how I want my name to show. I could show my full name, my first name and last initial only, or my first initial and my last name. Let's go ahead with full name here. Next, I can allow users to send me verification requests or not send me verification requests. 
We'll get into this later of what a, a profile verification request looks like, but let's go ahead and allow for now. Now that it's configured, you can see I have all of my verified information that happened from my identity verification, along with additional things I can add. For example, I can add my verified Apple account, Google account, Facebook account, etc. Let's go ahead and verify my Facebook account. What this does is it takes me to the Facebook platform, authenticates my login, similar to how you would log into a platform with Facebook. And then I'll be able to showcase that part of my identity is tied to a specific Facebook account. Now that I've verified my Facebook account, you can see on my profile that it's showing Facebook as verified. I can click into my Facebook page to tie my real world identity to my Facebook profile. And I can also add all these additional verified accounts if I want to show those. In the edit profile section, you'll be able to toggle what information you would like to show publicly, or you can make your profile private altogether. If I was to share my link app.identity.com slash Matthew 18 with another individual, this is what they would see. The information that I've chosen to share. And for example, if they wanted to uncover my age over here on the right, you'll see that it says request information to view. So an outside user would then click the request information button and select age and then send you a request. What we do ensure is that everyone who sends you a request also goes through the verification process. This is so bots or spammers cannot spam your public profile with requests. Once that individual sends the request, you have the option to accept or decline it. And then the individual viewing your profile can confirm specific information about you. The public profile is a very valuable tool in showcasing verified information about yourself to show that you are who you say you are and that you are very trustworthy in the things you are telling them. The next thing you can do with Denity is one of the most powerful tools that we've created. In the spirit of helping protect yourself from scams and making sure that the people either coming to your household to pick up an item or before you go and meet up with an individual to buy something even, to make sure that they're trustworthy and that the information that they're telling you is accurate, we've created the request information feature. In your home tab, you'll see that you have the ability to send a new request to someone. I can either enter a user's mobile number or email address. And soon what we'll, we will have is the ability to copy and paste a link directly into Facebook Messenger. So let's go ahead and enter someone's information. And let's say that I want to verify a buyer or seller online. What I have now is the ability to request verified information from that individual. For example, let's say that I'm communicating with an individual named Paul online. I want to make sure that his name actually is Paul and that he actually is the age that he says he is and that he actually is in Los Angeles, California. Paul could be telling me all of these things, but completely lying. So identity is a useful tool to confirm that information before you interact or transact with that individual. So let's go ahead and verify first name, age, and current location. I have the ability to customize the message that was sent, review my request, and the request is off. Now on my other device, I received a message asking me to sign up for Denity. If the individual is not verified yet, it will take them through the verification process shown in step one. The reason we do this is to ensure that the information that is kicked back to you once the request is accepted is real verified information that we have verified. So I'll go ahead and accept this request on my other device. And what you'll see now is this request will move into my completed section. Now that I view the request, you can see all of the verified information that was kicked back to me. Let's say that I was talking to an individual named Paul and then the name came back as Matthew. That's kind of concerning being that this person is telling me their name is Paul. I can see the verified age there and I can also see the verified current location. We use browser location to verify the location of an individual, similar to how Google Maps would ask you for your location if you were searching for a restaurant nearby. This tool is really powerful in confirming information about an individual that may be coming to your house to pick up an item or to just give you peace of mind before selling to that individual. We're really excited about this tool and we'll be adding a lot more verification features in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you guys some good insight into identity and how to set up your account your profile and request information from others. As I mentioned, we're always adding new features to the platform and we would love to hear from you all about how you're using Denity in your everyday lives, as well as any product ideas you may have that may help you on Facebook Marketplace. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to Jessica and I hope to talk to you guys all soon. Thank you.